Hey guys, and welcome to a new episode in the How to Make an RPG in Unity tutorial series. Ah, <laughs> shit, wrong video. But anyways guys, welcome to speedrunning game development because I'm bored. Part 1 So I was scrolling through YouTube one day thinking about new video ideas to implement, and I was absolutely stuck. I just couldn't think of any good ideas until I opened up my For You page. And there were many different types of videos, but one type of video absolutely dominated my page. Speedrunning. So I thought to myself, why don't I make a video about speedrunning game development? I mean speedrunning is already so popular, it's just such an easy way to get some free views and subscribers. Now all jokes aside, let's actually define what I mean when I say that we're going to be speedrunning game development. Basically, it means that we're going to be creating a video game as fast as possible. In this video's case, a mobile game, while also fitting these criteria. The game needs to have basic and fun game mechanics, some sort of goal slash achievement system, decent visuals, and epic music. Now also keep in mind that I've never made a mobile game before and I have no idea what to expect, so it's probably going to turn out very shit. But if you're still here and haven't clicked off the video yet, and want to see me fail at game development, let's get into the video. Hope you enjoy. So we start off the speedrun in an empty 2D scene, and I'm going to start off the timer. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a player, and since I have no idea what to do, I'm just going to create a circle. Now I know that I said the game was going to have decent visuals, but for now, the circle will just be a stand-in for the actual player that we will create later. So now I'm just going to create a very simple script that will move around our player when we click onto the screen. And after a little bit of slapping the keyboard with my hands, voila, our player can now move around in the scene. And then I decide to make some barriers around the screen so the player can't leave, even though we can't click off the screen anyways to move the player. Nice. Next, I made a basic spawning script that would spawn items in a random position inside of our screen. And I thought maybe we need some coins in the game, so I started adding a coin prefab that will be spawned by our script. Then I made a game manager to control the newly added points text and the coins text I made. And now, just as you can see on the screen here, coins will now spawn randomly and can be collected by the player. So next I started to add some square enemies to the game because I figured it'd be pretty boring if the entire game was just you going around and collecting coins. And after an entire 30 minutes of trying to make the square follow the player, it finally worked. Basically, now there's red squares that will have a 70% chance of spawning instead of the coins, It will follow you after one second of spawn. Obviously, when the player touches a square, they'll die. And finally, here's a clip of how the game looks so far. Now that all the basic game mechanics are done, I started to add some extra visual effects to the game. I wanted there to be a reaction when objects collide in the game, so I started to add a particle effect for collisions. And now, here's a quick peek at what the game looks like with the particles. Next, to go along with the explosion particles, I added some camera shake to further spice the game up. I then encountered this very annoying bug that would not let my camera shake work, and it took me an entire 15 minutes to fix it. But anyways, here's a look at the game now with the camera shake added on. So finally, 2 hours into the speedrun, I finally began working on the UI. I added some basic menu buttons and started making animations for them. And then I also decided to add a high score text as well as a previous score text. After making it so that the menu would appear after the player died, here's another little peek at the game's progress. So 
So at this point, now that the game was actually starting to look like a game, I started working on the achievement system by creating the shop UI. So now it came time to actually fill the shop with items. At first I wanted to pull cool wallpaper textures from Google at skins for the player, but then I quickly realized that there were too many scaling problems and had to scrap the idea. So instead I chose to stick with solid colors instead. So after around 45 minutes of work, I finished the shop UI and made slight changes by changing all text color to a turquoise color and making the background black. I then improved the visuals in the game a bit more by adding some post-processing. And then I hopped down to BandLab to start making music for the game. I didn't have enough time to create my own loop so I had to sample most of the song. I'll link the song in the descriptions below and if you want to use the song for your own games or creations, feel free to do so. Now it's time for some final bug fixes and edits. And finally, it was time to build the game. And because my computer wasn't the greatest, it took around 10 minutes to build. And with the game finally built, I stopped the timer, with the final time being close to 5 hours. But coding in Unity, you might be thinking. I thought this game was actually going to be good and well developed. What happened to the decent visuals? And if you're thinking that, you're right, this game is a piece of shit. But if you still want to check it out, the link to the Google Play Store listing is down in the descriptions below. And if you want to support me and this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is a new video format that I've been wanting to try for a long time now. And if you guys enjoyed it, please don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments below. This video took me a few weeks to record and edit, so again, please don't hesitate to subscribe. That's it for me today. See you next time.